right, y'all. Welcome back to another edition of uh, Minecraft Mondays for Right Nerdy Gaming. You got Chris here with you. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, uh, have, we have yet to actually play Minecraft on Minecraft Mondays. I haven't forgotten. Uh, the, the irony is not lost on me. Uh, we're going to continue instead with some uh, Farming Sim 2017. We've got all of our nice mods installed. We spent all last week just uh, just sowing, sowing uh, uh, seeds in a field. I needed to go and, and restock the old cedar. Don't know how long this vid will be today. Uh, it's it's snowing outside up here, and I just felt like, instead of dealing with the snow, going out on the farm. <laughs> oh, right. Shoot, I already had the... Okay, what am I doing? Park the truck back. I don't have to go run and get the tractor. All right, you stay here. We'll go for a nice little jaunt. Did I get that? I may have gotten this refilled, actually. I don't know why it's at that level, but anyhow, I thought for a minute I had forgotten to save the game. That's why I paused. Let's go. Let's go finish the canola field up. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Well. Luckily, there's not any damage. Okay. Don't have to call the home insurance. Don't have to call the home insurance people today. How did the accident happen? You drove a tractor into your driveway. Yeah. How much had you been drinking at the time? Uh, a little bit. Just I had I had I had a slug of bourbon before I started with the canola. You know, it's. <laughs> <clears throat> I I listened back to the last video and realized I made a mistake on that casserole recipe. Uh, and I wanted to correct it because, uh, man, it's good. It's it's been real good. When I when I made it, I'd actually made eight pieces. So I've had that's what I've had for breakfast every morning, and it's been a great way to start the day because it reheats really nicely. But yeah, that that farmer's favorite casserole from 1981. Uh, I'll I'll run through the whole recipe again. Again, it's it's uh, uh, Pepper Belly Pete is the one that on YouTube that brought it to my attention. He's got his Zippy Zap hot sauce, which I'm, I'm waiting on mine to arrive, so I want to test that out. But I've been putting Tapatio on mine in the meantime. Just a couple of dashes. But what the recipe is, you take a dozen eggs, and you take... Uh, you, you, uh, to the dozen eggs, you add a half a cup of sour cream, a half a cup of whole milk, three cups of cheese, which uh, when... Uh, Pepper Belly Pete did it. It was he did Cheddar Jack. I did uh, Monterey Jack. Like I think about a cup and a half of that. A half a cup of leftover pizza cheese that I had, just a pizza cheese blend, and then a cup of uh, sharp cheddar, Vermont sharp cheddar. Mm, it's really good. I get all the Cabot varieties because uh, uh, Cabot is a well, they they make some damn fine cheese, and. So you add all of that in, whisk everything together, and then in another, like in a, in a frying pan, I used a big, like one of those, um, well, it, I used one of those walled uh, cuisine art pans, like what Brandon was talking about on the podcast a while back. He had gotten one for doing burgers and stuff, so I got one for the same reason, and it actually worked out great for this because it, it, it's a big recipe. So I think that's like a 12... 12 or 14-inch pan, something like that. But anyhow, into that you put... Um, well, it's either two or three tablespoons of butter. I forget the amount, but the last video had that, that measurement right. And then um, you add a medium, chopped medium onion. I did a yellow onion, although a white onion would also be good. And uh, a cup of peppers, which, after having watched more of his videos, it was definitely either jalapenos or serranos. Uh, I went with the green pepper. It was still good. just wasn't, you know, depends how spicy you like it. Um, 
So I, I did. I actually chopped up a whole, or diced up rather, a whole green pepper, and then two pounds of breakfast sausage. And again, I found a uh, a local variety up here, McKenzie sausage, I think, which oh, that's that's some good stuff. So you, you brown all of that up, get the sausage cooked through, and the seasoning. This is where I messed up last time. I said a teaspoon each of black pepper and garlic powder. It's supposed to be a tablespoon each of black pepper and garlic powder cook all of that together and then you uh, uh, combine that and the uh, the egg mixture into your pan 45 minutes at 350 in a 9, nine by 11 like a Pyrex pan make sure you grease it first boy it's good like I say every time I've gotten it out I've just, I've just topped it with a couple of couple of shakes of my favorite hot sauce I did sriracha one morning that was also good I did tapatio and then yeah I'm waiting on the I'm waiting on the zippy zap because that sounds like good sauce too. I like the tapatio though because it's, it's nice and tangy. That's been one of my favorite hot sauces for a while. Oh, look at that. The canola's starting to grow. It just spawned in. I got a feeling we still got a while to wait on getting stuff harvested. So after we do this, we'll go run to the store and see what we want to do for our next round of purchases. And see what's happening. But yeah, it's been snowing up here, so uh, I've had a nice uh, couple of days in. Ended up canceling some uh, some plans that I had, so I did some recording on the channel. Got back into, uh, at, I think at this point you'll see the videos that are posted for uh, uh, Breath Edge. I had to get reacquainted with that game. Which, that was fun. I had a good old time with that. I started the uh, Starship Troopers playthrough. Just uh, I think the, by now the first... A uh, little short video was put up. I did like a little eight-minute teaser because that game starts out with a with a neat intro mission. Um, I'm excited. It, it 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 looks like fun. It feels good. It has kind of a I, I don't know. Like it the, the the way the game plays. It reminds me both of older style RTS games, but also it feels like it has modern ergonomics. So I'm kind of excited because I haven't really played. I haven't played an RTS in a while. I think the last one I actually played any of, and I don't remember if we recorded any of this. I know that, that Zach and I played was, uh, oh, not Hearts of Iron. What's it called? Oh, shoot. i got to look this up. I'm trying to find the Discord service. I'm in their Discord. Oh, there it is. Iron Harvest. That's what it is. Uh, which is pretty fun. Kind of an alternate, uh, alternate reality RTS uh, set in between the World Wars. It's it was uh, it was a lot of fun. And I think when when we played it, it was still in beta, and it's now it's fully launched and everything. So uh, I'll probably play that at some point on uh, Strategy Saturdays because it's a it's a fun one. But yeah, Starship Troopers. So far, I'm really excited about. So I can't wait to can't wait to carry on playing that. But depending on where you're watching, hopefully you're uh, you are having decent enough weather. We've been having some wild stuff here in the U.S. Of course, it's snowing up north in places, but uh, California's apparently had just about a monsoon almost, which is unusual. But all of the all the weather patterns are screwy, so I guess that's what I guess that's what's going to happen. But in our little corner of this mountain valley, we got clear skies and presumably 70 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, not Celsius. So I've been thinking long-term strategy here. Cause I, so I, we've got... Oh, look at that. The wheat's starting to come up already, too. So we've got crops coming in. I want to check the soybeans just on the off chance they're ready. See, there's a line there that looks like it might be golden. So maybe that's the ripe soybeans. Might be worth doing a test run with the harvester. But then the question is what I want to do long-term uh, with the farm. 
I'd like to eventually give corn a go, which would give me an excuse to get the right uh, the right header for harvesting that. And I'd like to also try doing uh, alfalfa, maybe get some horses, and do some uh, do some silage mixing and get some cattle. But we we got kind of I think a ways to go before we do that. At some point, I should figure out how to feed the chickens. I was talking to a friend of mine the other day about the, uh, he was having problems with, ch with chicken hawks, getting his chickens. Because uh, a bird's a prayer, they're, they're fast, and they'll, uh, they'll surprise you. We had that whole long conversation last time about farming stuff in Kentucky. I've run out of things to talk about now, so just going to do the farmer thing of, you know, just put a piece of straw in my teeth and drive the drive the uh, cedar around. I used to do that when I was a kid. I thought that that was a cool thing to do. I'd get a, I'd get a stalk of, because uh, we had horses, I'd get a stalk of hay, grass hay or something, put it in my teeth. Especially if it was one that had uh, uh, a seed head on it, like a, you know, it would look like a stalk of wheat almost, but it, it would be the alfalfa seed heads or whatever. Oh, well, here comes Mr. Cat coming over to, to potentially try to play games under the monitor again. We'll see what he does could make the uh, make the video lively I've had the best luck recently oh yep there he is trying to climb on top of the monitor no get your claws down uh -uh. <laughs> he's trying to get my fingers he was doing that to me while I was playing breath edge the other day which made that incredibly stressful because I was trying to manage my oxygen and also take care of him excuse me I have to he's about to jump up there and knock everything over I have captured him. What do you need, bud? Huh? Now he can turn around. He's going to go right back up on that monitor. Yeah. <laughs> I need to brush him. I got cat hair everywhere. Yep, there he is. Get down. I kind of have a yardstick to poke at him to kind of move him out of the way. <sighs> yeah, I've had to I've had to start recording videos really late at night when he's asleep because otherwise he just uh, what's probably going to happen if I'm not careful is he's going to because I've removed almost all the things he can mess with on the on the from behind the monitor, which means he then goes for the wires, and the only wire that's loose is the webcam. So. When the webcam suddenly goes up in any of my videos, you know the cat's gotten to it. Although, for the last Breath Edge video that I did, um, I did a longer one. He finally he calmed down and just uh, sat in my lap for a while and, and then hit the space bar. All right, let's see. Uh, we've only got a couple more rows to do. Oh my goodness! But I am—I'm going through seed like crazy. Oh, did I, is it because I've been leaving it on? Have I just been dumping seed out? Well, we're in a race now. I think we might have just enough to finish this field. We'll see.
If we can figure out, though, you know, kind of a good pattern here, I think I might be able to justify actually hiring a uh, NPC. Oh, shoot. Yeah, lift that back up. To, uh, to do some of this. One, because I'll be more efficient, but also, too, because I'll be able to then do more. But uh, i got to figure out how much I'm going to make with each of these fields when they're fully fully sown and harvested and all that jazz. Either that, or I need to recruit Brandon and Zach and do multiplayer, so that way we can all work together. Which I think would be kind of hilarious. Maybe we can do that for a, for a stream, a special stream at some point in the future. Maybe we'll do our own holiday, our own holiday farming sims, sim uh, stream. I'm getting to the point with a lot of the games that I'm playing that I'm getting really interested in what's going to happen next. Because uh, Half-Life Blue Shift has been heating up. Uh, I've been dealing with uh, the... Uh, uh, cleanup team coming in to try to take care of everything. And Prey has gotten really interesting. Plus, there's a DLC for Prey, which I'm probably going to play after, because I'd forgotten how much I enjoyed the game. And now that I, I like... I think before I kind of got into this mode of where I thought I was going to be just in one area. And so I thought I'd really screwed up because I'd gotten rid of all of the uh, available ammo. But I think two things were... One, I didn't realize I could craft materials... Um, as easily as I can in Prey, and also, I didn't realize, honestly, how big the environment was. Like, I, I've gone well beyond anywhere that I've played before, and it, it's, uh, it's almost difficult to force myself to only play when I'm, uh, able to record, because I, I want to just blitz through both of those games now, but it's like, no, no, I gotta, gotta, I gotta be patient, I gotta be good, I gotta make sure I'm, I'm actually recording the episodes so I can get them uploaded. I think we're actually, we're gonna, you know what? We're gonna run out of seeds. I'm gonna go refill this. I guess that field is pretty big compared to the wheat field, so I guess that makes some sense. And probably leaving it on while I messed with the cat wasn't the best idea. All right, let's see if we can get this loaded back up. This sucker really moves. Oh. Oh, I see. One of the seed bags has actually disappeared, so we have we have used it. Oh. There we go. Because I think we had four there before, didn't we? Our, oh, no, wrong way. And then... Oh. Wait, I'm confused. Oh, yeah, 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 that's... I, I did the seed, okay. And there's the fertilizer, presumably. And then I will close the cover with N. And we'll head on back up, finish up that uh, that field. Well, the good news is the cat's now, now sitting quietly. So I think part of what the problem is uh, is a combination of it's gotten colder up here. So I think partly he's just looking for a warm spot, and the monitors are kind of warm. But they had stuff all around, so he didn't really want to lay down there. And the layout of where my computer is is kind of weird, because I've kind of made a little computer nook. So the, it's like a big L desk. And on one side of the L desk is uh, the TV for the other side of the room. And then on my side is the monitor. So there's this like little canyon between the electronics. Uh, that we didn't used to have. He used to have more space to sit up there, so I think he's uh, mad at me for changing stuff around. At least I'd guess.
but I did also give him his favorite treats before I started recording, so hopefully I have I have paid the tithe to appease the cat god. <laughs> Uh, I gotta say, I uh, was not expected to enjoy this game as much as I did. There is just something, I think I mentioned this last week, there's just something kind of nice and relaxing about it. So, I do feel like I need to add some kind of like, like relaxing stories or, or little bits of, uh, you know, uh, uh, like the shipping forecast. <laughs> There's apparently quite a few people in Britain who, who listen to the BBC shipping forecast to fall asleep because it, it's just, it just goes through all of the shipping lanes and sectors and what the weather's going to be in, in, a, in a very calm, slow voice and just repeats, and so people will just fall asleep to that. Uh, not that uh, if you're watching this on a Monday morning that I'm recommending you fall asleep unless you're working night shift, but uh, uh, I don't want you falling asleep on your commutes if you're going in, going in somewhere. But, like I said last week, I do like starting the week off with a nice, chill stream. What I'm trying to do kind of going forward, because I've stacked up bunches of videos. I'm coming to the end of that where I'm having to record more. Uh, we're still on break from the podcast, but what I'm starting to do schedule-wise for myself is record the new video on the day that it would normally come out. Partly because that way... Um, I don't say the wrong day accidentally if I reference the day of the week because I'm actually recording on that day of the week. But also because um, I want to I want to feel how the videos feel in that day of the week, you know, make sure they're in the right spots. Like I think in future, once I wrap up come, come, so, some of the series, I might not do um, uh, like scary games back to back, you know, Half-Life and Prey. We got like one little half row, and then we're done. Oh, the cat's on the move again. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we can finish this this row before. Waiting tensely to see. He's, he's he went from laying down. He's now sitting. So let's see. He might just be grooming himself. All I can see is just his feet underneath the monitor. All oh, right. Okay. Canola's sewn. And the rows are starting to pop up, so we know we've done it right. The wheat field has already got sprouts coming up. So I think, let's go park this, we'll grab the pickup truck, we'll go take a look at the, uh, at the soybean field. And then maybe we'll pop into town and take a look-see at the, uh, at the store if there's anything we want to buy or lease. In the meantime. I think I'm actually just gonna, I'm gonna park this with the, uh, cedar still attached. We'll just, oh, I'm running into it. Leave that there. Oh, there he is back on top of the monitor. Excuse me. He's moved the shelf around. All right, let's grab the truck real quick here. There we go. And we'll just take the back roads up. Oh, yeah, look at that. That is 
Ready. All right. Well, let's grab the harvester real quick then. The combine. Ooh, almost hit that tree. All right, we're going to do this. I think you're out of the way enough. Now. Yeah. We'll attach. We'll attach the header. We'll back out. We're going to go this way. And we'll make sure that we can actually... actually harvest a row of soybeans here. Use this in a minute. Whoop. <laughs> oh. Monsieur, Monsieur Catuspec. Had to make sure that shelf wasn't going to fall out. How do I do this? Oh, okay. I, okay, gotcha. Lower the header. Right. I had to change if I was in the harvester or in the... And then... I've forgotten how to do this. I don't want to act, no, uh-uh. Shoot, I'm a titchy. There it is. Now there's turn on harvester. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. We are getting soybeans. There we go. Look at that. Rock and roll. Perfect. Well, we'll just be able to leave the uh, the harvested soybeans in the uh, in the harvester when we come back. 
come back to the rest of this later once we uh, once we have it uh, all done. Looks like, yeah, we did this field in like three different patches, so it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna come ripe in different groups. I think hopefully it should all happen though before the others do. So. I think I had to have everything unfolded before I could turn it on. I, I'm guessing. All right, let's see here. Make sure there's not any traffic coming. I think we're okay. Give it a big old turn. Oh, I shouldn't have done this. We're going up the mountain. Oh, dear. That, <laughs> that was scary. All right, now let's make sure we don't hit the green at all. Uh, all right, think we're good there. Oh, man, dead on the money. Dead on the money. We might be getting just a little bit of the unripe, but I'm okay with that. I mainly wanted to test this out and make sure I actually had all the right gear for the soybeans, so I'm glad that my, my remembrance was correct, that I had the right header and everything. That's pretty cool. You can see the you can see the everything going into the harvester through that little back window. This is, like I say, it's a neat simulation. They have lots of attention to detail. Which is what I'd expect for a simulator, but, you know. Perfect. There we go. All right, well, yeah, let's just, we'll drive you back to the farm now. With 782, um, I don't actually know what units that is. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna back it in this time since we know, since we know we'll need to be ready to go. Perfect. Awesome. All right. Well, y'all, let's go to town. We don't have enough to sell anything anywhere yet. We'll go check out what we got available. Let's see here. I think it is we take a right here. Yeah, da da da. Oh, dear. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I'm a little bit out of practice on my GTA driving skills here. All right, let's actually come to a full and complete stop at the stop sign. There we go. Looks like we're all good. All right, speed limit's 50. We'll get into the fast lane here. Oh my goodness gracious, this truck flies actually. Don't speed, kids. It's not, not good. The physics is not in your favor when you speed. Now, let's see. Put on our turn signal here. I don't think I've actually got a turn signal. There we go. All right, watch out for pedestrians. And we'll pop over to the store. And yes, I know I could have checked everything out on my phone, but I figured I'd go ahead and drive over here just in case I saw something that I wanted. Because uh, what I want to do is look at some of the... I think I got some vintage farming equipment with one of the mod packs. Oh, there's sales. 
Oh, never mind. Nothing's on sale. Tractors, front loaders, trucks, harvesters. Yeah, so I'll need... I'll need this. I'll I'll, I'll need twelve grand for that, which I, I just about have. Oh, this is potato harvesting. Oh, right. I was going through. Okay, yeah. So headers. Uh, beet harvesting, sugar cane, tippers. Do we get any vintage tip wagons? I mean, I do I do love that. Oh yeah, we got a couple of Massey Ferguson ones too. I I do love the old We gotta get one of these. I really shouldn't get it, but we gotta get one of these. Yeah, we're just gonna outright buy it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Cause we can put that on the back of the truck, take it back, and we'll have it we'll have another another old-fashioned trailer we can use. Auger wagons, plow. Oh, yeah, plows. Let's see if we have any. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, just. Oh, so see, I bet we could put that on the back of our, our vintage tractor. Let's keep that in mind. This guy, probably also, but I'm liking that. Might do that just to make the the vintage tractor a bit more, a bit more. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, practical instead of just being one to ride around the. Oh, this is perfect. I was hoping they'd have. These style cultivators. Yeah, this is good. This got this is good old stuff. Sewing machines. I'd be interested to see if they had anything. It looks like all the mods are in the back. Oh man, yeah. Oh. Classic good stuff. Sprayers, fertilizer spreaders, manures. Oh, manure spreaders. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's great. I love that. Slurry tanks, weeders, mowers. We got just an old fashioned bush hog. No, but we got, oh, classic. Yeah. These are nifty. Uh, yep. An old fashioned tedder. Nice. I was hoping they might have an old fashioned hay rake, but oh, that's cool. Oh, hang on. Yeah, where does that start? Okay. Now, see, th I think that's a square baler with the way the chute is back there. See now that that I could get behind. All right, we're gonna keep that in mind before we we do the wheat um, chaff next time. Chainsaws, forestry equipment. Just curious if we got anything. Oh, nice. Oh, that's awesome. Cause that'll let us drag a single log around off the back of a tractor. Oh, that's yep. We're doing that. Wheel loaders, telehandlers, shifts, skid steer loaders, animal. These don't look like animals. Oh, nice. Just a straight-up water trailer. Love that. Levelers. Miscellaneous. Oh, that's where our Renault went. That's interesting that it's in. I thought that I had a Renault. That's funny. Sorry. I... How do you actually say that? I'll have to look up the French pronunciation. Header trailers. Oh. Oh, I didn't I didn't know. I didn't know I got a convertible when I got those expansions. We're gonna have to do that. Uh weights, pallets, belt systems, placeables. Let's see if we got any new placeables. Oh wow. Oh, I didn't realize we had bee houses, we've got Oh, we do. We got all kinds of stuff. Oh, we got trees. Well, that's nice. All right. 
For now, we will just take this trailer back to the farm, see how everything's doing. Yeah, this just kind of feels right. See, I'd see this all the time growing up. Wagon of some variety or, or other on a uh, older pickup truck. Just cruising it down the road. Very nice. In fact, we will just make our way on back to the farm. I didn't miss our turnoff, did I? No, there it is. Let's see here. What? Oh yeah, what are we on? Route two forty two. And we're going on to. I don't know what road this is. All right. Yep, here's the farm. We'll uh, we'll pull in up here, and I think what we'll do is we'll actually we'll take this over to the soybean field because that'll be where it's going to be needed. That's going to be where it's going to be needed because uh, we'll we'll have to offload the the harvester eventually, so we'll we'll park it up over here. Just kinda out of the way for now. Whoopsie. Not what I meant to do. There we go. Thank you. Oh. Actually I actually uh caused a little bit of a stir there. Alright, trucks there, we can just walk back now. And let's go check in on the chickens and see if we can figure out more about how to do that. And then I think that's where I'll leave it for today. Um, I might... Yeah, I'm, I think what I might do just to kind of speed things along is I'll, I'll conclude the video, but I'll do a quick, I'll do a quick overnight time lapse just so that way the... Uh, oh my goodness, we got eggs, eggs for days. Oh, all right. I'm, I'm apparently picking up eggs. I don't know what to do with them, though. So how do I, how do I interact with the feeders? I'm going to do a cheeky bit of Googling. Well, chickens are the easiest of the four types of animals that appear in Farming Simulator 17. Chickens are maintenance-free as they do not require food, water, or bedding. Oh, okay. Oh, gotcha. So when I pick them up, I just I put them in my backpack, apparently, the eggs. So I guess this is simulated since these are just this, the small things that that just happens automatically, I guess, with the... Uh, I mean, it's a big farmhouse. Uh, so I'm assuming there's other people that, that, that are here. So I guess that's in, in our canon, our head canon. It's somebody else who takes care of the chickens. We just go around and collect the eggs. So I think we can look in our... I'm not sure where it was. Um, no, where? Oh, well, I didn't. I didn't realize we could do that. Huh. 
Well, that's useful. That's prices. It's vehicle finances. Where's the chickens? Ah, here we go. Eggs and backpack, 19. Eggs and coop, 6. Okay. Oh, found gold nuggets? Well, I didn't know we could find gold nuggets. So let's see here. Oh, I feel better now. I thought I hadn't been, hadn't been going for very long, but I've actually been going for about 45 minutes already. Of course, you know, barring the uh, the chase and the cat off of the uh, the monitor a couple of times. Oh, oh, we got a, oh, that's not a chainsaw. I thought that was a chainsaw. That's just, a, that's a, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, shoot, what do you call it? The thing used to, like, shape shrubs. Huh, don't know. Don't know what I was trying to say. I tell you what, though, I just now, I just thought of this. I don't normally like to tab through everything, but, yeah. So, where am I? Where is this place? One, how in the world am I allowed to drive a train? Which I love, but two, where am I? Oh. Oh. Okay. And so then... It looks like there is two there's two rail lines that go around places. Huh. Oh yeah, I guess I can do either one of these trains. Let's go for a quick circuit. I just wanna I wanna see what the Let's see what this is like. Can I? Oh, I can. Oh, zero. <laughs> oh, I love this. I've been thinking to myself a lot re lately that I, I really want to get a Lego train set. I always wanted one of those when I was a kid. I'm tempted to get one for myself now that... Uh, now that I potentially can, if I can find one. That's the other problem is I like some of the old vintage ones, which are harder to find. Or if you find them, they're super expensive, which... Do I have to worry about... Well, I hope not. Oh, look, it's a bridge! It was the Lego train sets, and I like those Brio... Uh, train sets, the wooden train sets when I was a kid too with the magnetic couplings those were fun oh well this is a nice way to enjoy the evening oh there's water there So it looks like we got two grain hoppers back there and a, a couple of um, flatbeds for carrying logs. Overshot the, uh, the station. I like this. I like this a lot. Central Transport Hub. So apparently I can start filling it with something. I don't know what, but apparently I can start... Oh, 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 I see, I see. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so... 
Yeah, so we can fill up from right here. Oh, there's the grain hopper. What are these? I saw the... I can't get up there. Oh, can I? Maybe I can. Uh, come on. Maybe not. That's for carrots, apparently. That's grain. I don't know what those two are. Anyhow. Oh, my gosh. We just found a gold nugget. Woohoo! There's apparently a hundred of them to find. Holy cow. So I guess we could offload stuff here. Oh, I can pick up that... Wait, what is this? I think it's a toolbox. <laughs> Someone's toolbox that I can't get to set back up right now. Let's see if we can get it to... Yep, almost. Oh, come on. No, no, no. Oh, so close. Here. Kick it and see if we can get it to... Nope, we, sh we just stand on top of it. Okay. Uh, we'll just leave that there for now. Whoops. Oh, what do we got over there? That looks like a hydroelectric dam. I think it is a hydroelectric dam. All right, the game has changed. <laughs> now we're going on a recce. That sure is a hydroelectric dam. I'm not sure where I am anymore. But it's fine. We got a map. We'll figure it out later. Okay, so... How do we get up there? Let's see. Let's see if we can go up these uh, this steep rock here. Yep, sure can. Oh, we can just we're we're really good at bouldering here. Let's see how. Oh, nice. We are just bounding. Here's the pump house. Let's see. I'm about to say, do we have a body of water behind it? We do. Looks like it's coming from somewhere, maybe. Uh, huh. A generator? Can I get in here? Nope. Not a generator, a compressor, that's what I meant to say. Oh, can I take this bike? Nope, I can pick it up, though. That's funny. Oh. Well, I guess then, is maybe is it coming from underground? I assume this little... I, w I was expecting on the other side of this mound to be a mountaintop lake. And they were then running the water down. Yeah, you're the pump house. Yep. That's going on down. Well, it's good to know. I guess we're getting some uh, clean power generation off of the uh, off this. Uh off of this power station. Wonder if there's anything of interest down below. I also kind of wonder if I can go. If I can go swimming in here, what'll happen? Let's do it. Nope. Maybe not. Maybe we can't. Oh, that's not that's not true. We can Oh wait, oh I guess we legit we legit can't. It won't let us go in there. It is actually boxed out. 
that's good because you shouldn't you shouldn't go swimming in something like this because it's the you, you be in danger of getting sucked down the spillway. Oh, private property, no trespassing. I didn't see that. I've been trespassing all over the place. Whoops. <laughs> all right, let's see here. Oh, gold nugget. Yes. I was kind of hoping there might be another one over here. We're going to have to go on a gold nugget search now. I wonder what happens when we get all of them. Are those worth money? They don't touch that. Oh, this is kind of cool. Now, oh yeah, now this one I can actually swim in. I don't think I can swim under the water though. That's probably good. So they didn't give me a. Uh, there, there aren't lives in this, so I don't have to worry about any kind of oxygen mechanic or stuff like that. Well, it's eight nineteen in game time, and um, in real time, it's about time for me to get dinner. So. I think that's where I'll call it for today. Except I just found what appears to be a secure facility. Let's go find out what this is. McLean Biogas Plant. Oh, this is okay. This is one of the places I can drop off stuff. They make biogas out of it. Interesting. Probably corn. Maybe uh, some other uh, materials. Well, it looks like I can operate some of this machinery. Huh. Yeehaw. Well, that's cool. Oh, yeah. So these are these are bunkers here for storing material, I think. And these are the storage tanks, I imagine, for the gas itself. All right. Well, that's good to know. Yeah, all right, cool. Well, we will teleport back to the farm here, and uh, let's see which ways that we'll just we'll watch that we'll watch the sunset together as I speed up time and uh, and do the outro. Uh, so thank you all for coming along with me on this uh, Minecraft Monday and bearing with me as I uh, as I uh, uh, dealt with the cat and all of that kind of stuff. And uh, he's he's always always excited into my play computer because it's like he, he <laughs> decides that's the time that he wants to. That's the time that he wants to play. So I'm going to go make sure he is entertained, get myself some dinner. And until then, make sure you all are checking out the uh, rest of the videos on the channel. And also, don't forget, we are on break from the podcast. We'll be back on February 5th. Where is time compression? Ah, time scale. There we go. And yeah, we got a whole bunch of other stuff uh, going on uh, on the channel, uh, including, like I say, the uh, the Half Life series and the Prey series, and we've also got the. Um, uh, let's see, what else do we have? Oh, well, I'm alternating between Shadows of the Empire and something Aliens related, uh, Star Wars Shadows of the Empire or Aliens related. Then I got Simulation. Saturdays, which is going to be Starship Troopers for a bit. Uh, I'm on a, I guess I'm on a science fiction kick. And then uh, we got uh, Rogue Squadron on uh, Sundays until we're back with the podcast. So 
Make sure you're checking all of those out. Don't forget to go over to our website at www.writenerdy.com. That's www.w-r-i-t-i-n-n-e-r-d-y.com. Go over there. You can drop us a line. Join our socials. Join our Discord. We'd love to have you. Uh, and, um, oh, gosh. Oh, right. Well, yeah, so the backlog of the podcast, you can find episode 50 to 100 on YouTube. You can find the entire backlog from episode 0.5 on up to episode 100 and some bonus content anywhere you can find RSS feeds, including Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Libsyn, and Verbal. Uh, and you've got, we got links to those on the website, too, if you want to go over there. So make sure you all do that. Uh, and, uh, yeah, until next time, y'all, take care, stay safe, and don't have too much fun without us. Adios, y'all. Oh, I uh, misclicked. There we go. Adios, y'all. <laughs> Oh my gosh, these videos. At some point, I'm actually going to learn how to edit so I get, you know, I take all the little bits out, but I can't be bothered right now. So I uh, hope y'all enjoy watching these things as much as I enjoy uh, playing the video games. So I'll see y'all later. <laughs>